Yeah. All right. Um, guys, when you have a when you have a multi-step problem like this, this problem is getting very confusing because what they did was they threw so many like terms up there. So what we need to do is we need to organize this and clean this up, right? We have way too many things together. Kind of like um, when you're like cleaning up your room, right? You have certain things you can organize and put them in the same bin, right? They're the same, maybe they're the same type of clothes, but they're all separated. But if you can organize them and put them in the same bins, then everything will be nice and clean. So what I notice is I have my whites are all separated, right? Then I have all my colors. This is my laundry I'm talking about. So you can see that these two are not separate. These two are like scattered around. Like here's a white shirt, there's a white shirt. They're all over. And then here's my like uh, a pair of pants maybe, maybe a red shirt and I don't know, a, a black hat. It's all scattered around. So what I need to do is I need to combine them together before I can do anything. So what you can do is if you could say 4K minus 3K, a lot of times I just like to rewrite it so they're next to each other. So I'd write 4K minus 3K minus four is greater than, and let's write these together, 13 minus eight plus eight minus seven K. All right, so you guys see what I did right now? So far what I did is I just made them in piles. Like I kind of took my clothes, right? My white clothes and then the clothes that had color and I just combined them into two piles. Now I'm going to combine them into their little bins. 4K minus 3K is just 1K minus four greater than Where's the one? That's a one. 13 minus one is 12, plus eight is 20, 20 minus 7K. Now, now we're stuck. Because guess what? We have a variable on both sides. Does anybody remember what we do when we have a variable on both sides? Oh. I like to pick on Adrian. Oh. No? Okay, yes. What do you do? Yes. You subtract the K. So, you know, to where it's not a negative number, you know. You okay, yeah, exactly. Well, um, a couple tips. And like I said, yes, you can subtract the K. And actually, since you said that, I'll do that. Um, remember, there's actually two ways you can do this. You can either subtract the K or add the positive 7K. Right? And you can do it on both sides. Now, I always like to do the smaller number because it gets rid of the negatives. But since you've told me to do subtract K, I'll do that for you. So let's subtract the K on both sides. I obtain negative four is less than or greater than 20 minus eight K. All right, now I need to get rid of the 20. So I'll subtract 20. Negative 24 is greater than negative eight K. Now, do you see why this gave me now a negative? So it's not hard. I can get rid of a negative by dividing by negative eight. But the thing that you guys need to remember is remember you, whenever you divide or multiply, please write that down if you forgot it. Whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to trip the sign. Flip the sign. So now it's going to be a positive three is less than K. Did I say that? So the only reason why I said, you know, if I would have preferred to add the eight or add the seven K, because then I just wouldn't have had to go through dividing by a negative number. It doesn't matter, you just need to remember that step. So now let's do our number line. Okay, so we go to three, make a nice big dot. Now since it's less than and not less than or equal to, I'm going to have an open circle. The other way you guys can do it is just plug it in and see if it works. Is 3 less than 3? And the answer is no. That's false, right? So therefore, that's going to be open. Then let's just pick two points. Let's do um, 3 less than 4 and 3 less than 1. So which one of these points is true? Is 3 less than 1? No. That's false. Is 3 less than 4? Yes. That's true. So you're going to go to the right. So about this? Can I clap? Yeah, no, yeah.